Hello, movie lovers. It's Friday, and you're with Bob. And he's going to tell you what movies you watched this week. Try not to make this one too long. I think last week's was long. Then again, I don't remember. I think it was. But let's talk about the movies. Yes, it's hot and humid here in Toronto. I got the air conditioner on. I've had it on since Tuesday, and today's Friday, and I'll probably have it on tomorrow too. As long as it's hot and humid, the air conditioner's on. So there we go. Yeah, that's Toronto right here, right now. So let's talk about the movies. All right, TCM, TCM, of course. Cheers. That's good for you. Put air on your toes. Huh? Yes, let's see. Saturday, Moby Dick. Gregory Peck, Richard Basehart. Was on TCM. Captain, 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 Captain Ahab. Goes looking for a big whale. And he finds him. Yeah. Not a bad movie. I gave it a seven. Everybody knows Moby Dick. All right, TCM. Big Country. Gregory Peck and Burl Ives. Gregory Peck is the sea captain. He goes to the West and he turns around and gets married. He wants to get, he's gonna get married to this girl, right? And the girl has a father. And then there's another gentleman that's over the hill, right? And they both have reasons to have water. For their, for their land, and this other young girl has the rights, and they're fighting over the rights, right? Because their their cows need water, but they don't like each other. So it's a long, drawn-out story. It's a two and a half hour movie. So it's boring in some parts, but some parts it's not. But uh, anyway, the big country, 1958. I give it a seven. Here's one here, our movie time, movie channel here in Toronto, Rogers, The Girl in the Spider's Web. I don't know about this one. This one is, uh, a hacker is hired by a former NSA agent, and then there's Russian criminals, and there's going to be a, something's going to get blown up, and all this stuff, so. This one's hard to explain to you. There's so much going on, it's like, man. You gotta pay attention to it, so it's, uh, it's, it's all right. It's not bad, but I don't know. Uh, 2018, I gave it a seven just because I thought it was a good story about two sisters. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that story about two sisters. Gave it a seven. All right, what else did I watch? Superman Returns. This one. Everybody knows this forgotten movie. Superman Returns. I'm supposed to pick up or something like that where Superman 2, right, leaves off. Superman 2. Anyway, leaves off. Uh, yeah, well, they made this movie and then they uh, completely forgot about it. Right? So, I liked it. What did I give it? I gave it a 6. It was alright. Nothing wrong with it. But it didn't make any money, and, and nobody, you know, the main line is they forgot about it. It's, they forgot all about it. Oh, well, well. Oh, oh. They forgot all about it. Anyway, Superman 2, I watched Superman 2. This is the one where Lois Lane figures out that, uh, Maybe Clark is Superman. What do you think? You take his glasses up, you look on him sideways, he looks a little bit like Superman. So Superman and Lois Lane fall in love. Which Lois Lane always loves Superman. So Superman gets the bright idea. Yeah, him and Lois Lane will get together. He'll denounce his powers. He goes in this little room, turns a button on. <laughs> powers, gone. So him and Lois Lane get together in this big shaggy bed or, or satin bed or satan bed or satin bed and they have sex, right? Come on, they do, the, we know they do the nasty, right? They do, they go, right, right, okay? 
So what happens? That's where we lean up to, this is where they get the bright idea to go up to this movie, right? He returns, Superman returns, right? And he's looking at the kid, Lois Lane's kid, right? And the kid's got the hair going down here and he's got the little Mickey going on here and Superman, you know, uh, he's starting to look at him, kind of look at him a little strange looking, like uh, the manners of uh, Clark Kent. He's saying, uh, anyway, can you imagine? Let's go back to Superman 2, right? End of the movie. Everybody gets all upset, and Lois Lane, this, and Lois Lane's crying, and Clark comes back in, and uh, he's got his powers back now, of course, but uh, yeah, he gives Lois Lane a kiss. Yeah, he kisses her. Good yeah, scratch on my leg. Like, where'd that come from? Anyway, Lo he gives Lois Lane a kiss. We all know that. I ended the movie, right? This movie, Superman, we can remember. Haven't watched it in years. So he gives Lo Lois Lane a kiss. She forgets everything. She's back to being Lois Lane, right? But now she's forgotten that she's pregnant, more than likely, and she's going to have a kid. And when she wakes up to the fact, girls think, who the hell did I have sex with? How did I do? How did I have a baby? I don't remember having sex with anybody. You gotta have sex to have a baby, I think, or you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, right? So here we are, years later. Yeah, and you end up with uh, Superman Returns, and nobody, everybody's forgotten this movie. So here's poor Lois Lane. All these years later, has a baby, and doesn't even know. She's who doesn't know who the father is. What a life to go through here, right? But hey. But when you think about it, it's just a movie, right? They figure we're all stupid and we, we won't bother. We'll, we're just a bunch of dummies watching movies, right? Which, you know, that's what they think. Don't mention Superman. Don't mention this movie. All right. Bullshit. Okay? All right. What else did I watch? I watched uh, Ace in the Hole. In! I watched Ace in the Hole. It was on TCM. I recorded it a while ago. Yes, Kirk Douglas, 1951. Billy Wilder directed it. Tales of a reporter who squeezes headlines from a, a cave-in, a mine cave-in. There's poor fuckers in a mine, caves in on him, right? And he, they could have got him out earlier, but they waited, it, right? And they got all this stuff going on. They're digging a hole, and they're taking forever. And now all these people are showing up. It's a goddamn circus, right? And Kirk Douglas. Can I say Kirk? Yeah, Kirk Douglas. He's part of the part of the problem. Yeah, he, he extends things. He, he writes uh, stories in the newspaper. Everybody's buying newspapers. Everybody's showing up. Now there's a carnival there. There's rides. There's horsey rides. There's gunshot uh, places where you can uh, throw darts. There's all kinds of stuff going on, right? And then he gets a what? Then at the end, near the end of the movie, oh, I can't tell you the end of the movie. Sorry. Anyway, Ace in the Hole, Billy Wilder directed. It's a, it's a decent movie. I can watch this one again, no problem. I gave it a seven. Seven. All right, let's move this along. Yeah, I already talked about Superman too, didn't I? Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, right. Let's talk about Batman and the Penguin. Number two in the series. Batman and the Penguin Returns. Batman Returns, I should say, not the Penguin, he never left. Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito. What can you say about Batman Returns? Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah. Uh, Danny DeVito, I don't know where he gets all this stuff and all this people from, all this men and they all jump out of, uh, clowns jumping out of presence and shooting everybody and machine guns going off and it's a riot it's fun though don't think about it too much Batman returns Michael Keaton everybody thought Michael Keaton was going to be a lousy Batman but you know what he was a pretty good Batman yeah especially in the first one Batman right so anyway what are they give Batman returns 1992. I never seen. I never saw Batman Returns at the show. I don't think I did. Batman Returns. I don't think I did. I think I seen Batman, but not Batman Returns. Yeah. So I gave it a seven. It's all right. Nothing wrong with Batman Returns. It's fun. 
then we're talking about Dick Tracy, 1990s, Warren Beatty, Madonna. Madonna. She was the big thing at the time. She was the one that don't know the hunchy 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 on. She looked nice. She danced nice. She got a nice bum. Anyway, I think that in 1990 when they made this movie, you pretty well had a, you had to have at least a little bit of a clue, right, to who Dick Tracy was, right? I mean, he was back in the comics from comic strips. When did he start? The early 30s. Well, let's say early 30s. This is in the comic book strips, right in the paper, Sunday papers, and through the week, I guess, or whatever. I got some of his strips in the bedroom. I got a big book over there full of Dick Tracy strips, strips, newspaper strips. But he's the guy that talks through his wrist rots, right? You know, stuff. And the movie was bright. It had lovely colors, red and purples and yellows and greens and pretty good movie. And all the regular characters, probably nobody knew who the hell they were, but they're in the movie too. And they were fun, right? Flat top, big top, little Tom and uh, sponge face and whatever, I don't know, whatever, whatever. So they were all in it. A lot of people in the movie, lots of actors been playing these parts. The only problem is sometimes you didn't know where they were because they were all made up with make makeup. But anyway, it's fine. Dick Tracy, I gave it a 7, 1990. All right, then I watched on uh, TCM, I recorded it in one of those movies that I recorded. Because I record stuff, right? Don't watch them the same day, so you record shit. You, you, all, you all do that. The Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon. That's what I said. The Blue, oh, I'll, I don't know, I'll record it, watch that. 1980. Two small children are shipwrecked on a lush island. No one beat each other. So they're like four or five years old. They're, they're shipwrecked on an island with this old fat guy, right? The old fat guy dies. No, the two of them are left alone. So they eat uh, bananas and, I don't know, eat raw fish and whatever. I don't know. And then, you know, then as they get older, they kind of, uh, you know, they get older 10 years from now, right? And they're like 15 or something like that. And they, you know, they don't know nothing, you know. I mean, honestly, they, they, that's the best part about the movie. When you're five, you don't know shit. And when you're... Fifteen, you don't know shit, so. Yeah, those two young people, they, they're together for ten years on this deserted island. Anyway, I can't tell you what happens, but, uh, yeah, 1980, I gave it a four. A four. You know why? Because I didn't like it, okay? I'm not watching that again. And then I watched, uh, The Transporter. Yeah, this one. Jason Thratham. Thradam. I can never pronounce his name right. Sorry, Ian. I can't do it. I tried for years. Stradam? Stradam. Strath. Strath. Strathsam. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. He's old now. I've been watching this guy for the last 20... 20 odd years. I so didn't realize it. But yeah, the transporter. I got the transporter 2 and 3. But yeah, I pulled this out the other day and I went, what about that? I haven't seen that in a while. Anyway, you transport things, right? Yeah. Whatever you, whatever you want done. You pay him money, he drives around this nice fancy car, he delivers things and pamphlets and money and people and whatever, right? So they mess up. He's a girl in the back of his car, right? So. And the guys that gave him the girl, they're looking for him, and things blow up, and machine guns. It's a riot. It's good. It's good. They stop off at a restaurant and have a hamburger together. It's like great, great. It's a great movie. I love it. I love it. Seven. I give it a seven. Are you having fun? Anyway, that's it. That's it for the movies I watched this week. So, there you go, people. Like I said, it's hot and humid here. Probably for the next few days too, I think. But well, what the hell, eh? Yeah. I watched a movie on uh, YouTube this morning. I mentioned uh, talking about in the other day, and he says uh, he's talking about Edward G. Robinson, right? So yeah, I watched that movie, Red House. It's called. Tried to find it. It's on a, It's on Amazon with another movie, but it's a third party and. 
I was looking at it, but I, but I watched it today. Ian told me it was on TCM, so I watched that, right? That's today, of course, today's Friday, right? So that won't be on the list until next week. And there's a couple other movies I watched, and uh, they won't be on the list until next week. So bear with me. I'll be back next Friday and talk, talk, tell you about the movies I watched this week. No reviews. It's not a review channel. I don't review movies. I just tell you what I watched. Yeah, so there you go. Don't forget, keep watching the movies and give your mom a hug.